Hi guys. Um, I'm right here. So today, I'm actually trying something new. Um, I think this is considered Indian food. Um, I'll research it and I'll let you guys know. Or maybe you guys can let me know. This is actually going to be my first video, my first mukbang. As you can see, um, it looks very amateur because I am amateur. Um, but I got from um, this food from this place called Kebab King. Um, I had seen it some time ago and I really wanted to try it. Um, plus, um, I watch a lot of mukbang videos and I love to see people eating like... I don't know, people, I guess, find it weird or, you know, it's just weird to a lot of people to see other people eating, but it actually, I enjoy it. It relaxes me, um, and I like it. Plus, it, like, makes me feel like I'm tasting that food as well. Um, so, hopefully, you know, this video does the same for somebody else. Um, I just got home from work. Um, I stopped there at Kebab King to get this food. I actually already opened it and I did try it as well already. Um, I tried some of this chicken right here. As you can see, um, it's red, it's orange. It's good, it's juicy. Um, and I tried the rice as well. I love the rice. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I gotta adjust it. Um, I tried this the rice as well. Um, I love rice, so it's really good to me. I tried this green sauce right here. I think it's I don't know what it's called. Um, it's very fresh. It smells very fresh. Um, a little too fresh for me, uh, to be honest with you. So I didn't really like it. Um, I ordered a side of um, I don't know what they're called, but a lot of people I see them so supposas i think or something like that um i'll correct myself i'm sorry um but these are actually really good they're tiny and they were like how many have i ate i ate two already sorry and i did it off camera i have three left um and they gave me this uh white sauce with my plate uh, which i really like as well i enjoy it it's good so i've been kind of dipping it these in that so it's really good. Um, and then they give you a little side le uh, salad, just lettuce, tomatoes, and I think it has um, some type of dressing and some kind of like chili powder on it. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it's vegetable, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, I'm not really, I don't really like tomatoes, so this has tomatoes on it. So I'm just not gonna eat the tomatoes, but everything else I will eat. Um, I'm gonna try, I think I believe this, this is their beef, the beef with the rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that and see how it is. It's not bad, it's just a little weird and it's a lot of new spices for me, a, new, a lot of new flavors. Um, so that's the only thing that's different, but I mean, it's not bad at all. Mm. You know, and it's me. I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. It's a lot of new flavors and something out of my comfort zone, which I like. Um, so I just want to try new things. And I thought about this place today. And I'm glad I did. Um, I feel like it might be a little too pricey though. But, well, I thought the price was good. But I thought I was going to have more, like, bigger portion. But, you know, it's, it's not bad that it's not such a big portion. Because it is going to be enough for you to feel uh, full, you know. So it's just me getting used to that as well, you know? So it has like two different types of chicken in it. So there's this yellow one. 
I don't remember. I asked the guy what kind of meat was in this plate that I got. And he did tell me. I just, I should have wrote it down or I should have paid more attention. Mm -hmm. I didn't get, but he did tell me like what type of chicken the red one was and this one. And I just didn't pay attention, but I'll make sure to pay attention next time too, guys. It's very tender. It's good. Soft, tender, juicy. And then I'm just drinking Coke. My niece's Coke. And I believe they gave me this piece, and I think this is nam. I think this is what's nam called. It's almost like a flatbread. It looks like, um, it's good. I really like this white sauce or yogurt sauce. I think it has a lot of flavor. It's very good. I like to dip my food and I like to use my hands, guys. Sorry. And this white sauce is really good. And this chicken. Mm -hmm. I, I made a good choice. And I think we're, I'm supposed to use my hands to eat this um, type of food, but, you know, I'm, I don't like getting dirty like that. I mean, I'm using my hands, right? Does it make sense? Can you see this? So it has like this sauce on it and like a red like red flakes on it or red chili pepper on it I don't know what it is it's not strong it's not spicy but it gives it a little flavor to it which I like it's not like vinegar because I'm actually not a fan of, of vinegar vinegar I like the little side salad. I do better next time guys I'll have a menu with me so I know what I ordered uh, the food that it has I do remember this said it was it had chicken beef and that it was mixed and it's actually really good and like I said I like it with this white sauce Like I said, I don't know. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, guys. You guys will notice that I have really bad memory. Um, but this is really good. Like, I would definitely get this. Or got, like, an extra order of it. Because this is really good. This and the sauce. This white sauce. Or yogurt. I will get it again. <clears throat> so 
so how's your day been you guys work um what hours do you guys work where do you guys work uh, <coughs> i'm sorry guys i'm not sick i've just been having this bad cough that i've had for like the past month and it comes and goes um it comes and goes and I just cough and that's it, but I'm not sick. Well, I don't think I am, but I never know, right? Having a hard time cutting this chicken. There we go. I'm sorry guys, I'm just really hungry. Um, I normally don't eat throughout the day or I don't really have a meal. Um, it's usually when I get off of work where I have a meal. So that's why I'm so like into eating my food. I love coke love 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 coke um so just to tell you guys a little bit about myself um I live in Phoenix Arizona I was born and raised here um, I have a full-time job uh, I've been with the company where I'm at almost five years already I moved different positions um, I love the company that I'm working uh, for and you know what we do um, and I, I don't know a lot of you guys might agree with it or not agree with it but um, <clears throat> we actually house unaccompanied minors um, that basically get caught by immigration um, excuse me you know they're 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 sheltered there with us until we can find them family that they can stay here with in the United States with um, so yes, it is, you know, unaccompanied minors, it, it is, um, you know, minors are, are normally traveling, traveling by themselves with no parent, no guardian, um, and trying to cross over into the United States illegally. So I'm sure a lot of you guys will have something to say about that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, they are humans, you know, I'm human, you're human. You know, and sometimes people have to do what they have to do to survive and have a better living. Um, a lot of times the reason why they're coming is for that, you know, for a better living, better support. Um, so I have my personal opinion about it. You guys can have your opinion about it as well. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, that's a little bit about where I work and what I do. But, um, I live, I have my house, I've had my house for, hmm, when did I get it? 2011? So I've had my house, I think, like, seven years now. It doesn't sound right. I'm gonna say between five and seven years. Seven years seems too long for me. So yes, I'm a very responsible person. I've been a very responsible person since I can remember. Um, 
that's usually, you know, what I grew up with. Seeing that work ethic uh, from my parents. Very dedicated. Um, making sure, you know, always being at work on time and being there every single day. Because uh, at the end of the day, you know, we got bills to pay. So... It's not heavy. <clears throat> I'm not gonna feel disgusted or I'm not gonna feel like, oh, I ate too much. Mm. Got some lettuce, rice, chicken. So I'm just trying this out guys, just trying to see, um, I'm actually, you know, I have, you know, I have a lot of responsibilities on my job and I'm just trying to find something like a release system uh, to help me kind of help me with that. Um, and I thought this might be a good way because, um, to be honest with you guys, I'm very shy, I'm very timid person, like, <clears throat> not only that, I'm very, like, antisocial, so I, I keep to myself a lot, so, like, you know, I had my years where 18 to, like, 23, like, going out every weekend, drinking, partying, um, going to school, working full-time, like, you know, I was on my game, but now, like, these past couple of years, it's, you know, the attention of going out and, and actually even drinking, like, it doesn't call my attention anymore. It doesn't do anything for me anymore, so I definitely try to keep to myself a lot. And I haven't really found like any hobbies right now that I would like to do. Some hummus. I, I wish I did. I would have grabbed it. I really like hummus. <clears throat> but you said it had garlic in it, and I'm sorry, guys, but garlic, onion, garlic, onion like it's hard for me to do. Especially garlic like garlic is such a strong flavor. I feel like it overpowers everything And I don't like that Even when I like go to Olive Garden, you know, they give you that garlic bread the breadsticks I always ask without the garlic salt or garlic whatever garlic they put on it I always ask for it without it and just butter and I, I like it But the garlic is just too much for me <clears throat> so 
I am single. Um, I'm not looking. I don't care to look for right now. I did have a partner. We were living together. Um, and it's been like, I don't know, I think three weeks since he moved out. This was really good. Like, if I could have this every day, I probably would. So good guys. <clears throat> so he moved out about three weeks ago. Um you know we were gonna together for about five six months so we weren't really together for that long but you know we did move fast it felt right so you know I don't I don't regret it that we moved in together so fast and that you know we were already living like a couple and stuff but at the end of the day you know it just wasn't working out you know he was a very different point in his life uh, I'm in a, I'm at a totally opposite point in my life. So, excuse me. It just wasn't working out. You know. Um, I'm like all over the place. You know, I have my days where I'm super bratty. And like, it has to be what I say and what I want. But then I have other days where, you know. Um... I'll go with what you want, what he wanted. Mm -hmm. But at the end, it just it wasn't working out. And I mean, <clears throat> it was hard because we would fight. Um, and we would always get back together. We would talk about the issue, get back together. But um, and this, this is not the first time that he had left either. But it was like already I knew that. I can't keep doing this like I can't keep going back and forth like him leaving and coming back leaving and coming back like I didn't want that I mean obviously if that kept happening there was issues uh, that weren't being resolved so it was just hard um well I mean at the end of the day I gotta move on um I gotta be focused on myself so that's what um I'll be doing and then We'll see how what happens. I don't think I'll be moving anybody else in anymore. Or maybe. We never know. Right? He was actually the first boyfriend that I introduced to my family. Like, a lot of my family. The first boyfriend I introduced. The, voice, the first boyfriend that I live with. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, it was a, an, uh, it wasn't a bad experience, you know, it just didn't work out. These two things make this whole thing, and the rice, I told you, I love rice. I could eat rice all the time. Mm. All the time, every day. Rice, rice, rice.
It is with the rice that I have left. Mm -hmm. I really like this stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty good. Overall, I think it was a very good experience. I got to try something new. <clears throat> and I liked it. You know, and it's very plain food. Like, you know, it's just rice and meat. But the flavors that they have, the herbs that they use, like, <coughs> it's different. Like, this rice right here, like, I can never compare it to uh, Mexican red rice. Like, it has nothing to do with it. Like, totally different flavors. The meat itself as well. You know, the chicken, it was very tender, very juicy. And it had different seasonings and flavors. So, it was very good. Um, Overall, I did like it. Guys, and if you like my video, please support me. Uh, so, I can make more videos and talk to you guys more. And... Uh, come up with different things and maybe different types of food as well um, so I can step out of my comfort zone um, like you know this is the first step you know I stepped out and hopefully you guys accept um, accept and support my video myself um, and then I'll see you guys for next time thank you guys bye